hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i will be going over a fact sheet on calendar year 2023 cms final rule for home health prospective payment system rate update and home infusion therapy requirements let's get started updates to the home health prospective payment system for calendar year 2023 this rule finalizes routine statutorily required updates to the home health payment rates for calendar year 2023 cms estimates that medicare payments to home health agencies in calendar year 2023 will increase in the aggregate by 0.7 percent or 125 million dollars compared to calendar year 2022 based on the finalized policies this increase reflects the effects of the 4.0% home health payment update percentage or $725 million increase, which is an estimated 3.5% decrease that reflects the effects of the prospective permanent behavioral assumption adjustment of minus 3.925% or $635 million decrease that is being phased in and an estimated 0.2% increase that reflects the effects of an update to the fixed dollar loss ratio or FDL used in determining outlier payments, which is equal to $35 million increase. CMS knows that the overall impact of the minus 3.925% permanent behavioral assumption adjustment is minus 3.5 percent as the permanent adjustment is only made to the 30-day payment rate and not the low utilization payment adjustment or lupas per visit payment rates this rule finalizes recalibration of the pdgm case mix weights and updates the low utilization payment adjustment or lupa thresholds functional impairment levels comorbidity adjustment subgroups for calendar year 2023 and the FDL used for outlier payments. This rule also finalizes the reassignment of certain diagnosis codes under the PDGM case mix groups. PDGM and behavioral changes. On January 1st of 2020, CMS implemented the home health PDGM and a 30 day unit of payment as required by section 1895B of the Social Security Act. The PDGM better aligns payments with patient care needs, especially for clinically complex beneficiaries that require more skilled nursing care rather than therapy. The statute requires CMS to make assumptions about behavior changes that could occur because of the implementation of the 30-day unit of payment at the PDGM. In the calendar year 2019 Home Health Prospective Payment System Final Rule with common period CMS finalized three behavioral assumptions, which are clinical group coding, comorbidity coding, and lupa threshold. The statute requires CMS to determine annually the impact of differences between assumed behavior changes and actual behavior changes on estimated aggregate expenditures beginning with calendar year 2020 and ending with calendar year 2026. CMS must also make temporary and permanent increases or decreases as needed to the 30-day payment amount to account for such increases or decreases. Additionally, in the calendar year 2019 Home Health Prospective Payment System Final Rule with Common Period, CMS stated that they interpret actual behavior change to encompass both the three behavior changes that were assumed by CMS when determining the budget neutral 30 day payment amount for calendar year 2020 and any other actual behavior changes not predicted at the time the 30 day payment amount for calendar year 2020 was determined. In the calendar year 2022 Home Health Prospective Payment System proposed rule, CMS first solicited comments on a repricing methodology to determine the impact of behavior changes on estimated aggregate expenditures. This methodology predicts what the Medicare program would have spent under the pre-PDGM payment methodology using actual calendar year 2020 and 2021 data 
and thus accounting for actual behavior changes as a result of the PDGM. In other words, CMS ran actual claims under the prior system and compared it to the claims under the PDGM system, which allowed a comparison of aggregate expenditures under both systems in order to determine the estimated aggregate impact of behavior change. The calendar year 2023 final rule finalizes that repricing methodology. Using the finalized methodology and updated claims data for the final rule, CMS determined that Medicare paid more under the new system than it would have under the old system and would have to make a minus 7.85% permanent adjustment to the 30-day payment rate in calendar year 2023 as compared to minus 7.69% adjustment in the proposed rule. However, to mitigate such a large decrease in home health payments in a single year, CMS is finalizing to phase in the permanent adjustment by reducing it by half for calendar year 2023. That is, CMS is finalizing a minus 3.925% permanent adjustment to the 30-day payment rate in calendar year 2023 to ensure that aggregate expenditures under the new payment system, which is PDGM, would be equal to what they would have been under the old payment system. The remaining permanent adjustment along with any other potential adjustments needed to the base payment rate to account for behavior change based on data analysis, which are all required by law, will be proposed in future rulemaking. While the statute also requires CMS to determine one or more temporary adjustments to offset retrospectively for such increases or decreases in estimated aggregate expenditures, CMS has the discretion under the statute to implement these adjustments in a time and manner deemed appropriate. Therefore, CMS is not implementing a temporary payment adjustment in calendar year 2023. Permanent cap on wage index decreases. To achieve this, the policy goal of increased predictability in home health payments, while aligning with the fiscal year 2023 inpatient prospective payment system final rule and other rules, this rule finalizes a permanent budget neutral 5% cap on negative wage index changes, regardless of the underlying reason for the decrease for home health agencies to smooth year to year changes in the pre floor slash pre reclassified hospital wage index. Recalibration of PDGM case mix weights. Each of the 432 payment groups under the PDGM has an associated case mix weight and LUPA threshold. CMS's policy is to annually recalibrate the case mix weights and LUPA thresholds using the most complete utilization data available at the time of rulemaking. In this rule, CMS is finalizing recalibration of the case mix weights including the functional levels and comorbidity adjustment subgroups and LUPA thresholds using calendar year 2021 data to more accurately pay for the types of patients home health agencies are serving. Common solicitation on the collection of data on the use of telecommunications technology under the Medicare home health benefit. CMS finalized policy changes regarding the use of services furnished via telecommunication system in the calendar year 2021 Home Health Prospective Payment System Final Rule. However, the collection of data on the use of telecommunications technology under the Home Health Benefit is limited to a broad category of telecommunications technology costs under administrative cost on the Home Health Agency cost report reported at the agency level. In the calendar year 2023, Home Health Prospective Payment System proposed rule CMS solicited comments on the collection of data on the use of such services furnished using telecommunications technology on the home health claims at the individual beneficiary level. Collecting data on the use of telecommunications technology on home health claims would allow CMS to analyze the characteristics of the beneficiaries utilizing services furnished remotely and could give them a broader understanding of the social determinants that affect who benefits most from these services, including what barriers may potentially exist 
for certain subsets of beneficiaries. CMS plans to begin collecting this data on home health claims on a voluntary basis beginning on January 1st of 2023 and on a mandatory basis beginning on July 1st of 2023. Further program instruction for reporting this information on home health claims will be issued in January of 2023. Updates to the Home Infusion Therapy Benefit for Calendar Year 2023. CMS is updating the Home Infusion Therapy Services payment rates for calendar year 2023 as required by law. Section 1834U3 of the Social Security Act specifies that annual updates be equal to the percent increase in the consumer price index for all urban consumers for the 12-month period ending with June of the preceding year reduced by the productivity adjustment for calendar year 2023. The consumer price index for all urban consumers or CPIU for June 2022 is 9.1% and the corresponding productivity adjustment is a deduction of 0.4% based on IHS Global Incorporated's third quarter 2022 forecast of the calendar year 2023 productivity adjustment, which reflects the 10-year moving average of changes in annual economy-wide private non-farm business TFP for the period ending June 30, 2022. Therefore, the final home infusion therapy payment rate update for calendar year 2023 is 8.7%. The single payment amounts are also adjusted in a budget neutral manner using standardization factors for geographic area wage differences using the geographic adjustment factors or GAF. The calendar year 2023 GAF standardization factor that will be used in updating the final HIT payment amounts for calendar year 2023 is not available for this final rule. However, the standardization factor, the final GAF's National Home Infusion Therapy Payment Rates and Locality Adjusted Home Infusion Therapy Payment Rates will be posted on CMS's Home Infusion Therapy Services webpage once these rates are finalized. Finalization of all payer policy for the Home Health Quality Reporting Program. CMS is ending the temporary suspension of OASIS data collection on non-Medicare slash non-Medicaid home health agency patients. Home health agencies will be required to submit all payer OASIS data for purposes of the Home Health Quality Reporting Program or QRP beginning with the calendar year 2027 program year with two quarters of data required for that program year, CMS is finalizing a phase-in period for January 1st of 2025 through June 30th, 2025, in which failure to submit the data will not result in a penalty. Baseline years in the expanded home health value-based purchasing or HHVBP model. For the expanded HHVBP model CMS is finalizing to add definitions for home health agency baseline year and model baseline year and remove the previous definition of baseline year. CMS is also finalizing to change the home health agency baseline year from calendar year 2019 to calendar year 2022 for existing home health agencies with a Medicare certification date prior to January 1st, 2019 and from 2021 to 2022 for home health agencies with a Medicare certification date prior to January 1st, 2022 starting in the calendar year 2023 performance year and change the model baseline year from calendar year 2019 to calendar year 2022 starting in calendar year 2023. Health Equity Request for Information or RFI CMS requested stakeholder feedback on their work around health equity measure development for the home health QRP and the potential future application of health equity in the HHVBP expanded models, scoring and payment methodologies. The comments received are summarized in the final rule. I end my presentation here with a reference slide 
Hope you found this information useful. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye now.